Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and today I want to share with you a few really, really important things that changed my life in business. I really want to respect your time and my time, so immediately let's get to it. This video series is for every entrepreneur, I don't care where you are, if you don't have a business yet or you do own a six or even seven figure business and you feel like you hit the glass ceiling, like there's no way for you to grow, you don't know what is the next best step for you and I want to share with you those lessons that changed my life in order for you to break that glass ceiling and take you to the next level. So I don't care where you are in life, in your business journey, if you're just starting or if you have an existing six or seven figure business, I'm going to show you how to take things to the next level. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to basically get to the last stage of entrepreneurship and basically go from someone who potentially works someone else or work as an employee in his business or maybe is an operator or a manager in the business, basically an owner manager or owner operator and take yourself to the last stage of entrepreneurship, which is the owner, investor, visionary, wealth builder. And that's the path I want to show you, the path from someone who don't own a business or own a business, but feel like he's trapped in his own business and basically operating the day to day, the boring, repeatable stuff and take the journey to become someone who own a very corporate type company, but you don't risk or sacrifice your freedom and you basically get to a point where you look at your business as an investor as someone who's just making the decisions on what the vision of that business is going to be and sharing your ideas as an advisor as the owner as the shareholder as the visionary and still staying and i guess still taking all the things from the business as the primary primary beneficiary of that business so my promise to you is that if you're going to watch all those videos you're going to see and understand where you're at right now and you'll see what is the exact path for you to take things to the next level again i don't care where you are i have owners people who own eight figure businesses who watched that series and told me that some of those things here they wish they knew many years ago and i know for me those things if i knew them 10 years ago my life would be completely different in terms of wealth both financially and both in terms of my freedom and time I want to show you how to literally get the best job in the world and surround yourself with amazing people who love you and love and you love them and they're on the same path with you towards the same goal and they're working towards your vision and your values and I think in the end of the day that's what matters you want to be around good people and you want to do work that you love work that doesn't feel like work that you do it that you would do it even not for money, if that makes sense. You would do that work just because you enjoy it. So I want to show you that path. And you'll see that path eventually will put you in your genius uh, point where you only do things that you're great at. And that will take your business if you're, again, starting from scratch or you own an existing six or seven figure business because most six or seven figure business owners that I know, they're trapped in their business. They're not really owning a business. They're owning a job in their business. And I want to show you how to take things to the next level to make multiple millions a year in revenues and then profit in your business. And heck, I mean, some of my mentors took those same fundamentals and grew a much larger businesses. I'm talking businesses making hundreds of millions every year. So same principles apply there. And I want to share all those things with you today. Just few house rules before we begin. This is not a get rich quick thing. If you're looking for to become a billionaire tomorrow and not work a, a minute for that, this is not for you. This is a get rich for sure thing if you're going to put the hard work the time and you're willing to basically start a path of mastery in the space of business because this is going to show you everything you need but don't expect to become a billionaire tomorrow by watching 10 minutes video right you need to understand this is a path you need to take yourself uh, take yourself with my advice but it's a journey journey that you need to commit to this video series is especially for people who are entrepreneurs or at least have lots of ideas all the time. They feel like they, they have so many ideas and a vision and they want to impact and change the world, but they're having hard times to, to know how to turn all their chaos in their head and all those ideas into something systematic, into a process that's producing capital again and again and again, ideally without their involvement day to day and same apply again if you have a business that's making six or seven figure a year in revenues or you don't have any business yet and again even if you own a six or seven figure business many people that i know who own those type of businesses they're having some chaos in their business they don't have systems processes they don't understand how to even read their financials or understand how to even handle cash flow or have any systems to do that and their customers start to uh, i guess see that they have some chaos and in balance in their business and they're not sure what to do with that and i mean heck most businesses are semi-distressed like even if you're making six or seven figure a year in revenues most likely you're breakly breaking even or losing money that's most and i'm telling you i'm looking at 
hundreds of companies every month to potentially invest in and buy. I know most businesses are semi-distressed and those are some of the reasons. And maybe the only way for you right now to grow is to bring one client at a time to basically hustle your way into the next client. And you're not even aware that you can grow by, for example, acquisitions, by going out there and buying other companies and buying your competitors or other complementary businesses in your sectors. Like you're not even aware that that's possible. But again, you can definitely get there and do that. But unless you have the fundamentals to begin with, the right systems, the right processes, the right people around you and access to capital, you can't go out there and then grow and buy other multi-million dollar businesses. And I'll show you how we did it with some of my companies in the past that we basically went out there and grew the business by seven figure in sales literally in an afternoon by buying another business. And you can do that as well. The problem is most people are not aware that it's even possible. The only way for them to grow is to go out there and bring one client at a time by doing more sales and marketing. So I wanna open your eyes to some of those things as well. And this series is especially for those type of people who wanna explore different things that are not, uh, I guess, not just conventional and wisdom, conventional wisdom, because most books and seminars and, and high level masterminds and retreats, I've been to all of them. I spent a small fortune to learn from different mentors out there. And I can tell you, no one is talking about that. And I wanna open your eyes to what's possible. But again, we wanna make sure that you have the right fundamentals first. If you own a business or not yet, and you just wanna grow by acquisition as your first deal, or you had business in the past, it doesn't matter. Now, unless you have those fundamentals and you understand the process to go from an owner employee or a manager, or just an employee, again, in your business or outside your business, and you don't know the next path, most people, they just stay there. I see, again, hundreds of businesses again and again and again just stay there and they basically sacrifice their dream in order to just continue and live in their comfort zone and continue to live this modest type life and lifestyle and owning a modest type business. And they're sacrificing so much things that they can do and so much so many people that they can impact because they're afraid or just not aware that there's a new way to do things and a different way to explore and structure their business in a different way. Now, I can tell you from first-hand experience, it's okay, many people have those challenges. The challenges are not really real. The only problem you have is that you didn't make four shifts that I'm gonna expand in, those, in that video series. You didn't make those shifts and that's the only reason that you have those challenges and you're stuck where you're at. And I'm telling you, once you make those shifts, you will be able to determine the role that you want to have in your business. You will have full responsibility on that and you'll be able to do whatever you want. You'll then be finally be able to eliminate your role as an employee, again, in your business or in a, working for someone else. And finally get to the, I guess, completing the entrepreneurial cycle, which is eventually becoming the owner, investor, shareholder, visionary of a business and literally becoming kind of like the Warren Buffett of your own business because your only goal then is to basically decide of where you're gonna invest your capital in and just bring in general business advice based on your ideas that you have all the time as the visionary, as someone who wanna go out there and impact the world, but you need people out there to basically implement those things for you because we, if, if that's something that you can relate to and you wanna become that visionary, that shareholder of one or multiple businesses you need to get to a point where you switch your positioning from again someone who's operating the day-to-day -to, -day to someone who's the visionary who's just thinking of ideas and your only responsibility then is to set goals for your employees and to make sure they're fulfilling their goals with tracking the right kpis which we'll get into as well now don't get me wrong you can still do whatever you want in that business like some people that talk to me who are business owners they love the day-to-day -day involvement that it's like their art and it's okay you can do those things but you don't want those things to become a bottleneck inside your business, if that makes sense. Yes, you can do those things whenever you want, but you want to have a team that can grow even without you being involved in that day-to-day -day repeatable stuff. And I guess doing your art, it's all good, it's okay, but you don't want that to create a bottleneck in your business. So just a sentence about me if you don't know me yet. My name is Moan Pober and I've been involved. I started, bought or advised dozens of seven-figure businesses and I'm here right now. I'm a full-time investor and I'm looking to share my journey with other entrepreneurs and help them as I basically get their business from a point that is the business is too dependent on them or they work for someone else and they want to start their journey either with starting a business or ideally going and buying an existing business, which I can help with as well. But then my goal is to eventually get to a point where I find amazing people that I can invest in and help them build their fundamentals so I can then potentially invest 
my own capital into their deals or bring some of my network into the, their, their deals as well and then it's a win-win for everyone that's my that's my passion to go out there help entrepreneurs help good people and eventually obviously have the on the back end a win-win scenario for everyone now, don't get me wrong, I wasn't always like that. I didn't know that you can be the owner visionary, the, the owner investor if in a business. I thought that you gotta grow a business and start it and really hustle your way up and hopefully sell it one day to have millions of dollars in the bank to then only become like the investor, like the, the guys on Shark Tank or Dragon's Den for the UK and, and Canadian version. But I can show you that there's a different path. You can get there from basically day one if you are willing to commit yourself to the journey of becoming an owner investor and an owner shareholder so if you're ready let's take this journey together this is the end of this short video but you're gonna see the rest in the in the basically the rest of this series i want to i'm really excited for you uh, to be here part of this journey with me we're gonna go through uh, the journey step by step for you to get to a point where you're starting your journey as an entrepreneur either working for someone else or working inside your own business and basically change your business so it's not dependent on you. So it's not basically taking a company from an entrepreneurial dependent company to a corporate financing type company, but again, without risking your freedom and without risking your time. But yes, we will help you find, I guess, people to handle the day to day so you can step back and look at the business from a high level position and only be responsible on the high level decisions and be what I like to call a, a, some kind of a deal maker or a visionary or, or an advisor inside a business that you want and stay the primary beneficiary of that business, which is obviously very important as well. So I'm excited for you um, to be here with me, but let's get to it to the, the rest of the videos.